The maps I'm using in here are tiger maps. That's the down to the mud path levels of uh, streets. They're used. They're commissioned by the Census Bureau. You know, it's amazing. The most the most accurate maps in the United States, you think would be the military. You would think that they would be like Rand and Alley or the, you know, you know, some really organization that does it. You know who makes the most accurate street level maps? Rand McNally sucks. No, the, <laughs> the Census Bureau. The Census Bureau builds a map, they make a product <coughs> called Tiger Maps, and then they publish it for free to anybody who wants to go and grab these map images. <laughs> now, if you get the Rand McNally, who we've just heard from the testimonial sucks, <laughs> <laughs> and you look at it and you dig down to it, they're going to say, from Tiger Map, uh, found resource, copyright, whatever. Most of the companies will not use their own resources to do this. They're actually using the Tiger Maps. And they cut and slice and dice to what they feel they've got to do. Then they charge you for it. So <laughs> your government taxes, pays for the maps, and then they give it for free to Rand McNally, who then bundles it in their software and then charges you for the uses of it. So it's nice you get paid for it twice. As you can see as I zoom in, this map level gets pretty pretty darn... Um, I mean, we're getting down to... Uh, I'd be really amazed if I saw a road going in off of Paul Parkway. But <laughs> now, now, the scary part is, is that LQL's over here, and I'm <laughs> over there. <laughs> and we're in the same parking lot. So now, unless LQL parked his vehicle out by the fire station, no. Nope. My guess is that that was his last transmit point, yeah. and then he turned his car off. And then, unlike mine, mine transmits all the time. Um, we got his last reading. Remember, I said it was near real time. Near real time is how often the refresh rate is. In his case, his refresh rate is two minutes. One minute. One minute. He's got a 60 second refresh rate. So he was here one minute ago. And you could actually find that out. <laughs> hey, you have a holograph in there. And does your wife know? That's why he's got the holograph. <laughs> well, I thought it was right. You know, you look at it, you go, wow, he's a. Uh... Well, you never find this. There's actually a way to turn on how old the uh, data is, and I'm not doing well finding it. Don't you just click on the vehicle? No, I mean, live on the screen. Oh. Um, I think that was an option or preference thing, setting. Well, oh, it's someplace. Who cares? <laughs> it's in here somewhere. Oh, here it is. Direct uh, science station only tracked. Data reckoning weather stations. Auto school. Yeah. Someday I'll find it again. Station display option. You find it in there? Station display options. See? That's why I got them here. <laughs> Eight, there we go. So now what it'll do is it'll show that one hour and 32 minutes ago <coughs> when that last report came in. And my truck reported 18 minutes ago. Now mine does it 30 minutes. I'm standing still. So my APRS unit is scalable. It's using a thing called Smart Track. And what it basically does is it will throttle itself transmit rate down to every 30 minutes when I'm standing absolutely still. There's no point every minute the broadcast, I'm still here. You know, it's like that Verizon commercial. Can you hear me now? I'm still here. <laughs> I'm still here. So what happens is it approximately every 30 minutes. Now, if I get in the vehicle, I start driving, and I drive straight. And I drive straight at 60, 70 miles an hour to refresh itself every minute. Okay? If I drive 30 miles an hour, it refreshes itself every 15 minutes. Okay? If I'm going warp speed, <laughs> yeah, I don't know, it refreshes itself probably instantaneously. Of course, as I approach warp speed, seconds. Time dilates out anyway, so it should be the infinite transmission rate. But anyway. <laughs> so how do you set that up? <laughs> um, the other thing that happens with this is that if I go around the corner, if I make a corner that exceeds 22 and a half degrees, I believe it is, 27 degrees, 27 and a half degrees, it will then transmit that I've gone around the corner. So if you actually see me drive around with my unit, if I drive up to the corner and I make a right, you'll see an a image appear there, meaning I've made a corner. If I go down and I make a left right away, it'll never an image will appear saying I made that corner. You can actually go in here, and I don't know how long the data I have here. I'll select Tim. I can say display re replay track, and I'll have to zoom out to get you some usefulness here. We can actually follow Tim's whole life here. <laughs> <laughs> 
you replay track, you can see he came down 65. He uh, joined just before that. Let's go a little bit farther back. Now you know why my, why my wife loves this thing. <laughs> there's, there's Tim. He started out somewhere over here. He drove down the road. He ate some dinner. Then he came back. He drove up 65. And he did Paul Parkway. And he stopped there. So you can actually watch what he was doing. Or if you want to see another dysfunctional driver, <laughs> I would really love to see if my track. I was so lost, I don't have a track. I must have turned my must have turned it on. Oh yeah, duh. Hey, I brought the laptop in and I turned it on. So obviously I have no track. <laughs> if I have a track now, I'm really scared. <laughs> because my truck's going down the road right now. <laughs> Let's pick on this little guy. Hey, do you need a ride? <laughs> yeah. But at least you can tell the police where it went. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this guy here is from here to here. So he's uh, just barely on his road. Anyways, tiny track. I'm just going to zoom out here. I only have the Minnesota area because my 233 megahertz Pentium and this software takes, as you can see, a while to rebuild everything as I uh, zoom in and zoom out. Um, you can actually have, if you have yourself like a Pentium, you know, 2.8 gig dual processor with, you know, EDO and the whole thing, you can actually put the whole United States down in here in full detail. It's completely possible. By the way, this Minnesota mapping area, I'm only, I'm only asking to do local DGPs. So I will only do the stuff that's in my local area. I'm projecting INETs and everything else right now. If I turn on INET, we can expand a lot more. Um, <coughs> A word of wisdom on Win APRX. It's a good program and has bugs. If you have a Mac, buy it. <laughs> it's much more stable. Um, no thanks. The, <laughs> no fighting back there now. You two are next to each other. 